We're facing the wrong way again. <laughs> Always something going on. Right, so let's try that. Shall I start again? Oh, welcome <laughs> to the 7th of April uh, craft and chat. Ta da! I'm in the right spot and everything, I think. Right, is anybody here? Um, I'm just going to share this to a group. Ooh. Will it let me share it? Write a post. Uh, hmm. Group. I'm learning as I'm going. So I am sharing this into my group as well so that's inspiring inking crafting corner if you haven't ever come over there so let's see if i can get some comments and things going on yeah hooray <laughs> hooray 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 it's all working marvelous right okay so sally's here jackie's here marion's here belinda's here um, Anne's here, Amanda's here, Michelle's here, Angela's here, hooray! I'm so pleased, so pleased um, to see you all. So how are you doing today? Um, how are things going? It's kind of, it's all a bit kind of weird things happening currently. Um, how are you, you finding your new normal? I did a blog post yesterday that was sort of talking to people about making sure that um, they were being kind to themselves because I think in all of this we, we kind of are spending so much time racing around trying to get things sorted out that we kind of forget about ourselves. So I'm kind of on a bit of a mission to get you all to take a bit of time for yourselves. Um, okay, so, so yeah, I'm, I'm wanting to hear what is it that you're doing um, to kind of, you know, work out your new normal. Um, I have been spending a bit of time rearranging my kind of weekly schedule because um, my schedule has predominantly been based around my classes and my in-person events and obviously now I'm doing a lot more filming and a lot more photography, a lot more Facebook lives and so things are a bit different and of course I've got Brian working from home as well. Um, so the office space that I'm coming to you from today is where Brian works when he's working from home. <laughs> so it's, yeah, it's it's interesting. He's um, a key worker, so he's had to go into the office today. So um, that's that's okay. So I, I have the office and, and I've been filming all morning. So kind of Tuesday is gonna be my filming day. Um, so let me just see what the, um, what the messages are okay um welcome to who are who i want to say hello to pam and claire and hannah angela's really pleased that she pressed the notification button good that is the best way to get notified that you know you're you you will know when i am here <laughs> that's there's a sentence weird sentence um yeah it it's it's the only kind of way that you'll yeah get notified um and time does kind of slip away from us. Um, Hannah, is it Hannah? No, Rosie is in the hot tub. I'm very jealous of the hot tub, um, but she likes my top. Thank you very much. Um, and Marion's saying she loved my exploding box card. Thank you. Honestly, that I, w I was going to bring it. Actually, I might bring it next week and 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 play with it a bit to to show you some more. But I just, honestly, I loved making it, although I did tear my hair out. So I, I'm going to be brutally honest with you. It was something that I decided that I wanted to make for Connor's birthday. Because it was his 25th birthday and I wanted something really nice. And I knew that he didn't actually want any presents, really. Um, he's, he... 
like many mid-twenties, he has the things that he needs um, and, you know, he doesn't really want stuff. Um, so basically saving up is moving out. So I was going to give him money, but I didn't just want to give him money in an envelope or to a bank transfer. I know it's easy, but I didn't want to do that. So yeah, days and days of trying to sort that out. But I did it and now I've done it. You can, you can just do it and it's going to be easy. Although I've had a few, <laughs> I've had a few comments of people saying that they were shouting at, at the screen going Amanda I'll, I'll help you hold that down um yeah absolutely my fault if you've watched the video you'll know it was kind of springing up everywhere you just need something really heavy and I I thought that my wooden block would be heavy enough and it wasn't <laughs> so and I thought shall I refilm that shall I edit it and then I thought no you guys need to see it because it might happen to you so I thought that was that was pretty pretty um pretty cool um Rosie is saying that she's going to give it a go but the little bits look awkward it is awkward but only if you haven't got something heavy enough to weight it down honestly um or a, or a second person <laughs> you know if you've got got uh, someone else in your house that will hold it down for you that will help um, but honestly, it's it's such such fun and just make sure that you get somebody to um, film the person opening it because it's it's just so much fun. Right. So Ros has arrived. Um, brilliant. OK, let's see. So, Julia, you found me, too. Fantastic. So, um. I started the call just kind of checking in, see how you're doing, and and nobody's actually said how they're doing. And I know that you're hoping to see some crafting, <laughs> so I do want to chat to you. Um, like I said, I've kind of I've rejiggled my schedule. Uh, uh, Brian is <laughs> work from the office on a Tuesday, so I can talk to you guys and do my filming and stuff. Um, and I've been working really hard to try and make sure that I take the weekend off because every day kind of seems the same. Is anyone else kind of feeling that? Um, because you're not necessarily going out and about and doing your weekend things, you know, we would go down to the beach or whatever, it kind of feels like every day is the same. And um, my tendency is to work too much. So I tend to just keep working. Um, Brian laughs because I never know when it's a bank holiday and I'll say to him why are you not going to work today and he's going yeah it's a bank holiday and I'm going no no what really <laughs> so yeah so I I yeah I'm hopeless I never remember what the day is um Claire's saying she's okay it's the rest of them so I'm guessing she's referring to the house full of men that she's got currently um, with her boys and hubby at home. Hannah is enjoying the family time and having lots of lovely crafting time. That's good. Angela's doing okay. Jackie made... Oh, that's my favourite, Jackie. Jackie made some lemon curd this morning, especially for her husband. Well, that's a lucky husband. That is one of my favourite things. Um, I've been baking a lot of bread, actually, and lemon curd would be... Oh... Yeah, lemon curd will be really cool on that. Um, Marion's been doing lots of crafting. Michelle is working from home and Tuesday's her day off. So she's going to have some me time tonight. Belinda is doing fine now. Good. Um, she's doing lots of crafting and she's got a new camera to play with. Oh, awesome. You see, that's the thing, isn't it? At the moment, some people have got extra time. So, you know, you can kind of learn something new or try something new. Yeah, Ross is saying every day is blurring into the next. Yeah, I really, under I really understand that. That's fine. Oh, Ben's only just realised that it's... Uh, so Claire's son didn't know that it was Easter weekend. Yeah, now, you see, I knew it was Easter weekend coming up, but Brian didn't. So, 
I don't know, it's all a bit weird. But I can tell you what we're doing Easter weekend. We are decorating Kimberly's room. So, um, yeah, so we've got some wild wallpaper to go on, on the walls. When when it's done, I will share a picture of it. It's, it's crazy. Um, but obviously she lives in Manchester now. <laughs> but when she comes home, then um, it's her room. So um, yeah, we, we, we've got to do quite a lot of repairing of things, cracks in the walls and weird stuff, plaster. I'm just very good at bringing tea, stripping wallpaper. Um, yeah, not often allowed anywhere near the paint pot, but I am good at pasting the wallpaper. So, you know, I know my skills. Um, and they don't really include paint because I end up covered in paint as opposed to the walls being covered in paint. Um, okay, so, oh, Claire has set up her hot tub. Uh, what is it about hot tubs? Why have I not got a hot tub? Um, Angela's trying to be creative with food. Angela, we need to know what it is that you're being creative with food about. Amanda's been doing lots of gardening. Yeah, we did that. Our cucumbers are in the greenhouse now. Uh, Hannah's asking how Kimberly is. Kimberly's doing really well, thank you. Um, you. Some of you may know she, she had a bit of an accident with a pan of boiling pasta. Um, yeah, her, her um, burns have healed really well. Obviously, she's going to have to um, be really careful. And, and the scarring... It takes about a year, 18 months for it to kind of all settle down to see kind of what's what's going to be happening with that. But um, she's been released from the Burns Clinic and stuff. So she's she's doing really, really well. Um, Pam says she's exercising with Joe Wicks. Well, yeah, Pam, I did two days and then I couldn't walk. <laughs> so it's kind of it's on my, <laughs> on my list of things to carry on doing. But I thought I might give the Strictly, the Strictly dancing bit a go instead of, of killing myself with Joe Wicks. Oh, and Pam is doing mindful doodling with Barbara Gray. That sounds exciting as well. Awesome. So, Deb's here as well. And Sarah's here. Fantastic. Okay. So, I do actually have some crafting for you today. Um, what I thought I would do today is do a card with a technique that's been around for, oh, probably, I reckon probably six, seven years, something like that. Um, but it's the sort of technique that you can do with um, any stamps. And um, I know that lots of people are using, using their stash and dusting things off and finding things. Um, I have been hearing that quite a few people have been tidying their craft rooms um, and you know you always discover things so I thought I would just sort of share with you a different uh, technique or one that I haven't uh, had out for a while um, it's called triple time stamping um, but you can do as many layers as you want what I've actually done is I haven't cut any of the cardstock or anything yet so um, I'm going to be cutting it all live with you. If you are watching this um, on the replay, um, at the top if you're on Facebook or at the bottom if you're on YouTube or on my blog, um, I'll put all the measurements up there um, once it's posted um, just in case you don't catch them as I'm saying them. Um, all you're going to need are some stamps and some cardstock and ink, obviously. Um, I'm going to be using Painted Poppies, which um, is the uh, stamp set. I, I'm just using this for everything at the moment. And uh, Peaceful Moments, again, I just love this set, so I'm using that a lot too. Um, oh, so I've got a few more comments here. So Angela has done scrambled eggs with avocado. And she's having corned beef hash. I love corned beef hash. Um, with baked beans. I, yeah, fun, yeah, real comfort food that is. That's lovely. Um, 
Sally's doing painting. Uh, test the paint on the hall walls. <laughs> Decided we didn't like it. Yeah. Then the shops have closed. <laughs> oh no. So now they've got patches of colour that they don't like. Okay. So I have a Brian tip for you. Um, he paints the testers on a piece of A4 paper and then blue tacks it to the walls. So then you don't have to deal with that. I know that's not going to help you now, but that's what he does. Um, so he paints it on the, yeah. Um, basically, he does that, and he has told me, so I do understand why he does that. He does that because the colour underneath will always make the colour look a bit different. So that's why he does it. Um, so yeah. And it also then means that sometimes it look great on one wall in a room, but it won't look so good on a different wall because of the light. Um, Pauline's here, she forgot again. That's okay. And um, yeah, that's my mum. <laughs> so you're okay. It's okay for you to forget. I know you're busy. Um, and Claire is saying hi to Linda. Okay. Top Brian tip, says Sally. If only you'd known. Yeah, I know. It just amazes me. That's the fixes my cards and painting tips and all sorts. So, um, are we happy with the lighting here today? Because I've been trying really hard to get this lighting sorted. Um, I'm hoping that it's, it's all going to be okay once I turn the camera around. So, I'm going to cover you guys up. I've got to do a bit of shuffling. I'll keep talking to you, but I have to move all the lights and things and try not to lose you at the same time but first I've got to find my post-it notes right there we go Ooh. okay so I'm going to cover you up you're going to go blue for a minute and let's move that oh dear right so let's see Ooh, Belinda's saying the lighting looks really good. Thank you, Belinda. Um, it's, it is kind of entertaining. If you could see my workspace, it's a bit crazy. But I am hoping... Ooh, turn you around. Oh, no, yellow again? What's happened? Oh, hang on. Are we good? Are we all? I put some cardstock down. Can you see it all? Are we in shot? Yes, we're in shot. You can see one of my lights there, but that's okay. I'll move that out of the way a little bit. Move my stamps in. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. That worked really well today. Hooray! Hooray, hooray! Hi, Kim. Thank you for joining us. And she's saying it all looks good. And look at all the hearts. That's awesome. Jenny's saying hi from New Zealand. It's night time here, but had a lovely sunny day yesterday. So, Jenny, Jenny, you're obviously on your travels then. Um, that's that's awesome. Right. Good. Okay. So I'm going to get my trimmer. So the colours I've got are not typically poppy colours. Um, when I used to live in Somerset and um, we had Californian poppies there and they were all different shades of yellows and oranges. And when I was designing this card, that was what I was kind of imagining. Um, I've got a wire that's hanging. Hang on, let's see if I can move that out of the way. Right, hopefully you won't be able to see that now. Right. Okay. So I have got Mango Melody, Basic Black, Granny Apple Green. Not sure whether we're going to use that. It's out just in case I've changed my mind about what, <laughs> what I've designed. And Whisper White. And um, so I've got a stand. Ooh, we've got a standard card blank with ink on it so we'll cover that over <laughs> in a second 
and then I've got a basic black layer to go on there so um, I do have a video for both centimeters and inches of how to cut basic card blanks I'm an inches girl and I um, struggle using centimeters it, it my brain just does not work it um, so I always work in inches so my card base is five and three quarters by eight score it at four inches and then I go down a quarter of an inch every layer so this is three and three quarters by five and a half and then I'm hoping that I've brought a layer in no I haven't hang on I've got one here and then this one is three and a half by five and a quarter but we're going to make two more layers so the first one turn this around the first one is two and three quarters by one and three quarters and then the next one is three and a half Oh, that might be big enough. Yep, three and a half. No. <laughs> yeah, ignore that. This one. Hang on. Right, can you see this bit? So it's one and three quarter inches by two and three quarter inches. And then the next layer is two and a quarter. By four and a quarter. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that's those layers. And then I want a black layer to go around either side of that. So that's going to be a quarter of an inch bigger. So we want two inches by three inches. It will all make sense once I've done it. Like that, you see? And then this one, it's going to need to be four and a quarter inches. No, four and a half because it's a quarter of an inch bigger. This is the bit where I wish I'd cut it first. But I thought, no, I'll do all the cutting. It'll all be fine. So four and a half by two and a half. So here's a question for you. Would you prefer me to do the cutting? live here or would you prefer me to go here are all the measurements and not cut it what do you think and it's all gone quiet right whilst i'm waiting for you to make a make comments i'm just going to actually quickly cut another set because i want to show you two different things Somebody must have a preference. Preferences. Claire says she prefer just have the measurements. You see, I like it when somebody has a preference. Okay, because it is kind of boring watching me cut stuff, isn't it? I get that. Um, next week. Right, I've got one more piece to cut and then that'll be it, I promise. Do, do, do. Measurements are fine for Ross as well. There you go. If you prefer to see me cut, you need to speak now because the people just wanting measurements are winning. Either way, Marion says she doesn't mind. 
<laughs> it might be easier for me if I did the cutting first. Yeah, because then I wouldn't make a mistake, Jackie. That's the thing. Okay, I'm done. It's basically because I wanted to do two sets because I just want to show you two different ways of, of doing it. Okay, so let me explain the way this works. You have got these layers and what you're going to do is you are going to do some stamping and then these are all going to layer on top of one another, okay? Now you can do it like this, um, but I'm actually going to do it differently today. I'm going to do it on an angle, so I'm going to do one this way and one this way. And then I'm going to do a second one kind of different. So what we're actually going to do is take all the black layers away and stick those layers together. So what you need is your snail um, and you just kind of put a little bit of snail on these two pieces and I just dab it on my jumper just to take the, the stick off. You might have one of those fancy glue runners that's repositionable um, but snail isn't so um, I have to do it this way. So I am going to put that on an angle as well. So obviously I'm stamping white on, on a white table and on white grid paper, but you will hopefully, once I start stamping, the, the camera will work really well to pick that up. So I'm using the open poppy and the leaf. And then surprise, surprise, or no surprise, the memento. Uh, the happy birthday from peaceful moments I'm actually going to stand up because I can see what I'm doing then so I'm going to stamp my happy birthday first and then I'm going to stamp a poppy over that small layer and that small layer size is so that you pretty much get a whole poppy on and then I am going to start stamping and you'll be able to see that where you've got cardstock layers you're going to get a little bit of a void where the ink doesn't cover but because we've got layers it will all work out okay. When you're stamping make sure that you go over at least two layers. Is anyone counting? You've got to have an odd number. It's a rule. Okay, so I'm going to put some leaves in now, here and there. Doesn't matter if they go over the top. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm going to stop. So there's five. Okay, so that's one. I'm just going to move that to one side and I'm going to do a second one. Let me just get the right size layer. And I'm just going to go landscape for this one. Right, okay, so have, having me cut everything first and the measurements is the, is the request. So that's what I'm going to do. Right, so I'm going to go this way and then there. And I've got a little blob there, but we'll fix that in a second. Okay, so again, I'm going to put my main poppy just there and my happy birthday stamp. And then I'm just going to do exactly the same, obviously covering over that bit there <laughs> that I'd smudged. One, two, three, four, five. It's 
sneak one in there. You're counting now. Mm, I need one there. So I'll put a bit there as well. Okay. Uh, so the last thing is I just need to put poppy there so that's for the inside of that one and the poppy there for the inside of that one okay right. so there are two ways in which you well <laughs> there's not two ways there's a million ways in which you can color these in but I thought I would show you a couple of different ways now with the poppy stamps you do get these which are um, splats and this like watercolour wash I'll show you here and there's another sort of splat as well um, so you can stamp on them so I'm going to show you that first um, Mango Melody is actually really quite a bright colour so I'm going to stamp it off first and then put it on top of the poppies so you've just got like a soft effect and you need to do this at this point um, because once you've got the black layers in you're going to have even more depth so it's 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 not going to work as well um so i need that for that one as well and then let's get the little splats and again i'm going to stamp them off so that it's just a little bit more subtle. Okay. So that's the first one. Then we've got this one. Now I used the eagle eyed amongst you will have noticed. I used Memento Black Ink and Memento Black Ink is the ink that you need to use when you're using alcohol markers and that's for any alcohol markers um, if you've got different different ones. These are the Stamping Up ones. Um, they come in twos so you can buy them singly but they come in, in pairs as well and so you have a light and a dark one and um, important to know they need to be stored lying down because they've got um, a reservoir that runs down the center so don't stand them on their end um, and you've got a bullet tip and a brush tip so there's a little image there but it's the thin line is for the bullet tip and that's a hard tip and then you've got um, a softer tip which is the brush tip at the other end. Now, um, I tend to recommend that you blend using the bullet tip, basically because it's harder and you're less likely to mash the end of your, um, your pen. So this is actually really quite soft, but because I'm colouring in today, I'm, I'm, I'm going to just use this this end and I'm using the wrong one. <laughs> I'm using um, the dark mango melody first. And all I'm going to do is just put a little bit coming out from the edges of um, the, the poppy. Like I said, so if you if you've just joined us, welcome. Um, I'm actually making Californian poppies today. Those of you that are horticulturalists, you probably know what their what their real name is. 
Um, I always called them Californian poppies when we lived in Somerset. Um, we had them in our garden, um, but they were everywhere. In, I'm, I'm not being very precise with this because I, I don't want it. I, I'm not going to go right to the edges and um, be very precise with this. This is more of a wash. Um, so I'm, all I'm doing now is pulling out from those edges. And I'm just softening that darker colour. Like I said, I'm not I'm not gonna go all the way to the edge. I know some people will find that difficult. Because <laughs> some people like colouring colouring into into all the lines and then get upset when it, they don't quite go to the go over the line. I am I don't mind. So I'm just leaving this as like a soft a soft look. So who likes colouring in? Because I know that not everybody does. Um, it's the same as fussy cutting, isn't it? Lots of people don't enjoy doing fussy cutting. I love it. It's one of my favourite things to do. Almost there with the flowers. Oh, Marion, thank you. Claire's saying it's pretty and Marion's saying she loves it. Oh, you know, it's always a worry when you design something that people might go, oh, no, I don't really like that. Right, I'm just going to go over that bit a little bit more. And then... I am just going to go, this is, ooh, Granny Apple Green, and I'm just going to do a couple of swipes in each leaf, and then a couple of swipes with the darker. So I'm not colouring in there at all. I'm laughing. Sorry, the comments are making me giggle. Um, Claire's saying that she finds it quite relaxing so long as she can find her glasses. Yep, my glasses are firmly on my head. Um, Ros loves colouring in. Belinda loves colouring in. And Amanda says she colours like a five-year-old. Yeah, but if yeah. I think the thing is, if you enjoy it, then actually just go for it. And I wasn't that good at colouring in. I'm probably not that good at colouring in. But I love the blends because it just means that it's it just gives it like a softer finish. Roz is saying that both cards are really different. She's loving them both. Awesome. Okay, so that's done. That's done. All we've got to do is glue. Get my tumbow out. So um, let's <laughs> now I've got to find all the bits of cardstock that I cut. <laughs> right. Okay. So I have I've actually what I've I have got is a Mango Melody card blank and a Granny Apple Green card blank. So, eeny, meeny, meeny, I'm going to put that one on there. So, I'm just going to put the inside in. And you'll hear me talk about this every time I'm making a card. Putting this insert in has many purposes. Mainly because I always or almost always use a coloured card blank and I want somewhere to write um, but it also gives a bit of additional weight to the card so your card doesn't slide um, 
when it's when it's standing on its edge now talking about sliding sometimes with horizontal cards they splay like this so a quick trick which I would do if I had a bone folder here and I don't um, but if you use your bone folder and rub up and down the score line from the back it will reinforce the score line and it won't slide as much okay so we've got these pieces and we're going to dismantle them but just go carefully um, with it so take them off so that you know which way they go as otherwise you'll struggle later so this one is going to go onto the black layer Well, Claire says her Stampin' Up! goodies are arriving tomorrow. Awesome. Yeah, I've got an order coming tomorrow as well. Very exciting. So then this layer is going to go on here. Just line it up. And then this layer is going to go on the tiny one. Ooh. And I've got glue on my finger now. <gasps> Jackie's arrived yesterday. Awesome. I am so pleased your shopping is arriving. So have you started playing with anything yet, Jackie? So we're going to pop that one on there. And then this one is going to go on here like this. And can you see now where those little voids were? You can't see them at all. Um, this is why you need to make sure you know which way is up. Because... You might be trying to put that down like that and that would not work. So it's going to go like that. So let's pop that on there. Like so. And then this one. Now I've stuck these um, flat. But you can obviously use dimensionals on them if you want to. I might do that on the other card, actually. So that will show you that one. And then that one goes there, like so. Fantastic. So there you go. So there is a one card finished. Um, Marion's saying the new ornate suite arrived today. Ah. Oh. That's brilliant. So <laughs> for those of you that don't know, which will be all of my customers because I haven't told you yet. <laughs> That's my plan for tomorrow um, is we've got a pre launch for um, a new products from the annual catalogue. It's called the Ornate Suite. There's some really pretty papers and uh, stamps and dies. Um, I don't actually have them yet but I will tell you all about them tomorrow. Um, Jackie's saying she's just stroking all her products. <laughs> That's so, uh, we, we all do that, Jackie. We all do that. Okay, so this second card, I'll move that one out of the way for a minute because then I can show you both of them together. So this second card, um, I'm just going to put this layer on the inside, but can you see this piece here? Um, this has got, this is, ugh, my words are not working. Hang on, let me have a slurp of water. Let's try the words again. The blends will come through. So that's the front of the card and that's the back. The blends will come through. So be careful when you are colouring in that you're not resting on something that's important. Okay, because that's it, it will 
come through which is why even when I've used blends on a card when I'm stamping on my envelopes I don't actually use blends because it goes all the way through okay so I feel like I've got ink on that as well now right okay we'll pop that that way I've obviously been resting it on something hmm okay yeah, I'm sure that's water. Yes, Claire. I'm afraid it is water. I would not be any good doing a live with any kind of alcohol in my system. I think that would, yeah. It would be probably very funny, but not for me. Right. Ooh. Okay, so again, I'm going to take these layers off, but making sure that we are keeping them the same way round so we don't mess up later um Jackie said she's got lots of the poppy sweet yeah uh, Jackie it is so lovely um I'm I'm using it a lot and obviously I'm using it for my craft along club and things um I'm just having a lot of fun with it I really hope it makes it into the next catalogue actually but we will see so my advice with everything is get it if you see it and you love it get it because we never know whether it's staying or not um i did do a public service announcement yesterday about the in colors and um i just don't want anyone to miss out so if you've um got ink pads particularly for blueberry bushel uh, blueberry bushel grapefruit grove lovely lipstick call me clover or pineapple punch they will all be leaving officially at the end of may the reality is the retired list normally goes up late april beginning of may and they sell out the in colors the outgoing in colors always sell out every year and every year i have customers emailing me going oh amanda i really need a re -inker. For that um, ink pack, that colour, and I I cannot get them, so I kind of I'm putting it everywhere. I'm saying that to everyone. So if you want that colour cardstock or ink pad or reinker, get it now before everybody else realises it's leaving. So it's kind of a kind of sneak in there quick. Oh, Angela, I love that. Okay. So, Angela saw a tip recently. Put a piece of scrap card inside your envelope and then use alcohol markers. Angela, thank you. That is a game changer. You see, crafters are the best because we share tips with one another and we learn stuff. Every day is a school day. Right, so let's pop that one down. And then that one. Ooh. And sometimes you do just have to wiggle it a little bit like that. And then this one. <laughs> all right I'm just <laughs> I'm just going yeah I think that needs to move over a little bit there we go okay so I didn't do what I said I was going to do did I why did you not say Amanda put it on dimensionals I think it's too late now yeah it's too late I'm not going to ruin the card to put dimensionals on it okay let me get rid of this grid paper because it's a bit messy and then I'll bring the cards in and you'll be able to see the cards better. So, which one do we like the best then? Um, do we like the stamping or the colouring in? Mango Melody or Granny Apple Green bases? What do we like the best? Let me move those in. You like the angled layers? 
Angela. Yeah, you see, I I like things on a on a bit of a wobble. I think it's 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 nice, and actually, sometimes it's better to do that because we're not always as straight as as it could be. Michelle saying she likes both. Thank you, Michelle. Marion saying she's liking the one with the blends. Thank you. Awesome. Okay, so I am going to wrap this up now, I think. If um, you've got any questions, Claire saying she likes the gold card as well. Good, thank you. Um, if you've got any questions, then uh, do drop them in the comments um, or send me a message. I will um, make sure this posts back on the page and all of the measurements and things that will will go up there as well so you know what the measurements are but obviously these two cards are the same measurements it's just I've I've done it slightly differently um, and I will be back here at two o'clock on Tuesday next week now if you've got any requests then leave me a leave me a comment or send me a message um, because what I'm what I'm doing is I'm trying to do different things so sometimes um, it will be this which is kind of a technique um, last week obviously we did the photo album there'll be different things but I'd love to know what you would like to see um, and then you know that will give me some inspiration as well I am so pleased that you've joined me today. I, it's really heartwarming for me because I think this is something I've wanted to do for ages and it's just been a great way of kind of connecting with you guys and finding out how you're doing um, and, and just kind of checking in but also to share a bit of creative inspiration. Now if you make cards using this technique post them on my page, send me pictures of them. There is nothing better than a crafter who sees other crafters doing the things that they've been doing. Um, it's, it's awesome and I'd love to see what you make um, because everybody will do things differently. So I'm going to love you and leave you. I hope you have a great rest of your week um, and uh, I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye!